Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my kitchen. My name is Madeline and I am an Australian who's currently living in England. So today's video has definitely been inspired by the Great British Bake Off. I'm attempting to bake scones and I bought some clotted cream and some jam to try out clotted cream for the first time. Just wanted to say that I am not very good at baking, but I enjoy it anyway. Hopefully I don't mess it up too much. Let's get baking. For the scones, you need milk, an egg, 225 grams of flour, 25 grams of caster sugar, two teaspoons of baking powder, and 50 grams of butter. Okay, hello. I am doing a voiceover since I had audio issues. First, mix the flour and baking powder together, preferably with a spoon and not with fingers like I did. Once mixed, incorporate the butter. Use your fingertips to rub the flour and the butter together until it resembles breadcrumbs. Once the breadcrumbs have formed, add in caster sugar and stir together. I know you can't really see this part, but bear with me. Crack the egg and add milk into a measuring jug. The amount of milk you put in depends on the size of your egg. But altogether, the liquid should equal about 150 milliliters. And then just whisk it together. Then add the milk and egg to the flour a little bit at a time. You won't need all of the milk and the egg. However, I misread and added the whole mixture, but my mixture turned out super sticky. And you want the dough to be soft, not sticky. But I was able to fix this in the next step as I used the flour surface to incorporate a little bit more flour to the mixture. Add the dough to a lightly floured surface and I added some extra flour here as I just said. Knead the dough lightly and then roll out into one centimeter thick. I didn't have a ruler so I just guessed. I think mine were a little thicker than one centimeter but oh well. <laughs> My camera did stop recording as I was rolling out the dough and I didn't realize. After that, cut into rounds. If you don't have like a biscuit cutter or anything like that, glass works just as well, which I have used in the past for like cookies and things. And with the leftover dough, I rolled it out again, although those didn't turn out as well. They were very thin looking at the end and then I just made one big messy one with my hands
After that, place them onto a baking tray and brush the tops with milk or any leftover egg and milk mixture. Then into the oven to bake for about 10 minutes or until they are a golden brown. Put onto a wire rack to cool and then eat as fresh as possible. So it's gone there in the oven and now I'm going to clean the kitchen while they bake. Should be about 10 minutes. I'll be back. Look how good they look. Obviously, this isn't all of the scones. I just had the rest of them sitting on the wire rack. So the scones are done and I have a question for you. Do you put the cream or the jam first? I have always put jam first because in Australia we used whipped cream, not the squirty cream, the thickened cream, which is essentially double cream that is been whipped. So I've never experienced clotted cream before but I'm gonna try it out today and see if my opinions change. This way looks really odd to me but I'm gonna give it a go. It's probably gonna taste exactly the same. Could be good. So it's all right but you don't get the taste of the cream. Uh, all I could taste was jam and a little bit of cream. So I'm gonna now test my old cream on top and see what this clotted cream tastes like. I'm not gonna try it out of the jar because I don't really like cream by itself. Anyway. So with the cream on top, you can definitely taste the clotted cream a lot more. It is very similar to the thickened cream that we whip up in Australia. And I just kind of like that way a bit more because you can taste both at the same time. Regardless of whether you have jam or cream first, tastes good. Either way. Anyway, that is all for this video. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in my next one. Cheesecake. Naughty cat. <laughs>